Hey guys, it's Peace Gaming and welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new, welcome and I am back with another video. So this, uh, it's been a long week y'all, like last week when I was um, uploading and stuff, I already had those pre-recorded but last week has been so busy and the beginning of this week has been so busy that I'm basically recording this and hopefully gonna post it and well, edit it and post it on the channel on the same day of the 15th before 12 o'clock because <laughs> I am determined not to miss a day of vlogmas okay <laughs> like I am determined to try my hardest to you know stick with the whole post every day until the 25th of December shenanigans like hopefully I can pull through and get this done in time so enough of rambling let's just get into this Okay, so I think at this point, um, we're going with- Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. Yeah, so I think I'm we're sure going to the cove. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. We're gonna listen Explain to Anna. That makes sense. <laughs> the cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. Uh-oh. That's not good. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? Uh, we're gonna play by ear because we don't know what to expect. You and I are gonna figure something out together. When we get or, there. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options um, here. Real, that's to enough. Again. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Um, they won't get away with it. They'll let them get to you. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true. That just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else 10 seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so <laughs> drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been this dude, man. useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. Okay, he needs to That's stop. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I... Sorry. I didn't... I, just, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. It wasn't you he was so talking to. you're just to. gonna keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. Oh, this dude, man. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 I hope going to this cove place is not a bad idea. I'm kind of worried now. Um, I'm gonna say not really, but I have to. Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Cause if we go back, they're gonna arrest Sam. Take a moment. No, let's let's do this. They're gonna arrest Sam if we go back, and then they're not gonna do it, do an investigation. So, you know. We need to make Who the sure. Hell are Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. 
you ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? Um. We're look. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him, or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? Um, we're gonna let Anna do the talking. It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Because they don't like us. I think most of them... Like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm going to talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Damn. But yeah, like we need to be careful with who we speak to because, you know, we're kind of the reason why some of them ended up here. Because we... Uh, I, our article was the one that closed the mine a bit soon, so we need to see. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? We need to make sure we don't do anything to piss anyone off. Because <laughs> we still want them to help us. Um, unknown woman. Do you want to speak to her, maybe? She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Oh. Watch <laughs> it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. That's I'm not Kayla. such a good way to make what an impression. You um. You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. I'm creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else. That's as close to real magic as we can get. So. You gonna tell me what you're here for? I love her. I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off road. Has four wheels. Makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. I'm dead. He must have one of those off-road quads. I don't know if we can, can still go. still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. Okay, I hope she wouldn't mind us coming into like area. Um, used to. Oh, okay, it's just the stuff. Anything to read or something? I don't think so. But her little tent looks so cool. I love the vibe in there. All right, let's keep going around. Um. I hope he wouldn't mind us going in. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like we're going to get screamed out or something. Oh, no. A form on mine and lead. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is not good. Let's just head out. Hold on. Um, if you guys want to read the letter. I regret to inform you that the West v Virginia Coal Inc. filed Chapter 7 back from C three days ago. Following a series of expensive lawsuits and fines that have been brought about an untenable financial situation. Consequently, your current position will be laid off and all company operations will cease by the end of the week. All back pay and paid sick leave will be properly paid out. Insurance claims will continue actively through the rest. Th um, wait, continue actively through until the next end of the month. Oh no. This is like his, um hunting knife oh let's just get out <laughs> before the owner comes and sees us makeshift ashtray probably keeps down on fire risks but yeah i feel like this guy's the person that owns this tent and probably doesn't like us if he knows who we are i don't know if we should speak to him or not what's up you have friend kayla's or something Name's JR. I'm. Uh oh. Wait. You're that fucking reporter. I was. 
fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. I knew it was him. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. Um. Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Yeah, let's just go. I mean, I kind of ex expected that reaction, to be honest. Um, so, I'm not surprised that he kicked off on us. Uh, what's that say? Oh, the cove's um, flag. Anything here? Usually, like, there's like a little mind place vibe, but no. Okay. Um. Oh, there's, there's Anna. Oh, that is this Lynette's house. Looks Asian. Probably lived here most of her life. Okay. All right. Let's go say hi to Lynette. She fits right in. And it always fits right in. Can you speak to her? And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? Um. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Um. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others. Even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. Okay, that was pretty short. Um, Bess. Samuel, this is Bess. I'm trying to... Witness said you had a fight last night. Are you looking for him? Witness, ask a few questions. Come down to the station as soon as you can. Okay. Oh Clock's no. Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. Okay, so. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Maybe there? Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Oh, okay. Let's just go and see. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Wait, <laughs> isn't that it? Can't we go up there? Oh, possible hideout over there. Okay. I guess we went the wrong way. I don't know. But this is how we came in, wasn't it? Yeah, that is how we came in. How am I supposed to get up there? Let's try this again. That's Kayla's place, I believe. So let's go this way. He can't go up. I don't know. Um, can we go up this way? Nope. I'm so Dickie lost. could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. So how are we gonna be sure? Um, is there anyone else we've missed out speaking to? Um, 
Can we speak to her again, maybe? What do you want now? Uh, let's ask about Dickie. Well, I'll see you around. Okay, I guess I we can't. Like you have to. I guess we cannot. So how am I supposed to um find out if Dickie's there? Can we go in here? Nope. Where's that other guy? Oh, there he is that we've seen in the beginning. Maybe he can tell us. I just saw something. Does that say? Oh, okay. I didn't see him before. Tyler set himself up nicely. Okay. Let's speak to Tyler. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Oh my gosh. Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Um. I don't know. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Well, okay then. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. But you so know Dickie, Dickie is could... in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's got to be in one of these places. But the thing is, like, um, what was I gonna say? Um, Dickie could possibly know who killed Nick. And if you guys say you like Nick or whatever, then you should be able to help us. But <laughs> I guess not. Um. I don't see anything that could help. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Alright. Um. Try and get a thumbnail in there. Alright. Um. Maybe he's in there. Could it be in there or the other one? Where's the other spot? Oh, here we go. There's the other spot. Um, he's in there. Oh wait, there's one over there too. I, do you know what? I just realized there's three possible locations. I don't know which one he could be in though. I thought like maybe that one. I don't know y'all. I don't want to. I don't know if I picked the wrong one. What that would mean. I don't know if that would mean um. What's it called? I can't go back and pick something else. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll just look around a bit more before I make a decision because I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Where did it looks at that? Is there anything else around here? I don't see anything. Um, maybe this car? Doesn't look like there's anyone in there. I am slightly baffled. <laughs> Let's check in here again. Maybe I missed something. Already looked at that, my bad. There's a magazine on the floor, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with that, so no. Um, I already looked at that. Okay. 
I'm not sure what is left to do for a really small space it's very hard to figure out what to do I need to find out where Dickie's hiding he's here somewhere okay so not through that end um there's a tire swing I think we can go that way. Alright. Um. Where did it look at the couch? I don't think I missed anything. I, feel, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Um. I already looked at this and I think there was nothing there. Looks like everyone's got like a little generator and stuff. I don't think we can speak to her anymore. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. Um, I just like the toilet. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. Cause really spoke to Anna. Uh, um okay so i think i just have to choose one of the three and then something should change i think i'm not sure because i've basically <laughs> um wait it's i didn't even realize this trailer was an option too Damn, okay. Um, I'll say he's in here. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. Alright. We should be able to go up now. Or not. I only know you by reputation. And what I know, I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here or have you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Um. Look, I just want to talk to the guy who lives right over there. I don't give a shit what you want. Back the fuck hey off. Hey, man. This guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm going to get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Okay. So we have a plan. Now when this when that thing pops up on the side of the screen at the top, it means that we need to find clues and stuff. So I think we'll go here first, right? With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. Okay. We need to burn the statue. That's not that's not good. I didn't come here to cause trouble. Damn. All right, so we've got varnish. I think varnish catches fire, no? If I'm not mistaken. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. And These the wood stuff as well. Perfect kindling. Matchbox. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty, probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. Okay. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. Oh, I feel bad because I feel like she sells these things. So once we burn it. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. 
The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Exactly. Okay, so we need to see like turn off that water hose thing that um Lynette was using. I don't know what her name is. I think that's her name. Um Who's that? Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. Okay. Um would there be anything new in her room? I don't think so. Um I guess let's just head out. Okay, looks like they've moved from the hose, so I guess we can like turn this off or something. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Okay, so how do I sabotage it? I don't know. Um, okay. Let's keep going. He says something about the cabin, right? Looks like there's something here. What does that say? Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Oh, okay, I see. So we're gonna hide in there. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Okay, that's another place we could hide. Um. Oh, we could hide here it's too. Deep enough. Could squeeze in here. Okay. I don't think it would be snap um what am I saying? I don't think it'd be wise to hide in a cabinet because they could go in there for the second hose and see us hiding there, so maybe not. Um let me see. I don't see anything new in his room. Ready inspector that. Okay. Um I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. Okay, so where are his keys, though? I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Okay. Alright, let's go find Anna. I think she's by the fire. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I don't think you want to know. Oh, we're going straight to the mine place like that. Okay. Need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. Okay. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Okay. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Okay. Alright, so, um... First step. The statue goes up in flames. This'll get everyone's attention. Um, no, I think... Um. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. Okay. Okay, before... So hide the van keys. What should Anna do? Um, hide the van keys or break the water hose. Um... I'd say break the water holes. 
right? I don't know. <laughs> I think that would make more sense. I, I don't know. Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. Yeah, exactly. So we should break the water hose. Um. All right. So what's this say? Behind the curtain. Oh, so we can hide. We can hide behind the curtain. Yeah, we can hide behind the curtain just in case they go into this closet thing. I don't think they would, but just in case. Um, what does it say? When to come out? All oh, right, okay. Um, after Jr. Um, when the fire blazes once alone. I'll say once alone, right? Because if we, I don't know. But then again, JR is the last one to help out. So we could go after JR. I don't know. Right? Or when. No, I'd say when the fire. When the fire goes off. Because then that will be the distraction. Just in case that we're able to turn it off quicker. Alright. Um, is it going well? I don't know. Hide. Grab that. It's not working. You see? You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? She went for the, um... Oh no, someone caught us. Away when the fire flares. I'll risk being discovered then. Um maybe this let's see. Cause that's all I was saying. Cause when he um looks in the closet, he was saying that there was holes, bucket, and all that stuff in there. So I kinda had a feeling that that's where they would have looked next, uh, once they found out that the holes wasn't working. So it's a good thing I didn't hide in there. Okay. If Anna breaks the hose, Lynette will look for a spare. Okay, in the closet. so not that then. Let's try once alone. And then if this doesn't work, then it must be one of the choices I made for Anna. Probably. Well, she needs to grab the keys too, so I need to. I think I need to do that as well. Uh. Okay. She does the holes. If we go now, does anyone see us? I think that just worked perfectly. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. Okay. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay. But why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. I don't think she's gonna like what we're gonna do. I don't think she's going to like her idea when she figures it out, but you know what? There's no other way. Okay, just go away. Hide. Help. Someone help! It's burning everything! Help! Something's wrong with the hose. I'm not getting any pressure. I'll be right there. Just hold on. Uh, hurry! Hurry, Anna, my don't. hair is burning! Calm down, it'll be okay. Work so hard on it. Oh damn. I feel so bad. <laughs> okay. Tell me this dude sound made it out because 
I can't believe we just did that. I feel so bad, but all right. I think we just about made it. All right, let's go grab him. I knew it. There he is. Oh shit! Shit! What the hell? I've been looking for you. We need to we talk. We need to talk. Oh no, no! Look, I'm real sorry. I clocked you and shit. You clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right. I'm just a guy trying to get by. That's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. Um, we're just gonna he's let him gonna go. Pin us to the wall. And now I'm as good as dead. Maybe he's gonna slip you up and say something. Man, I can't. Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes about his article about the dealing and the, the drugs and. Keep going. Into dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at makeout point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Who's Declan? Declan? Yeah, the cop. You Wait. Know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> Wait, Declan, the police <laughs> officer that was acting like he's trying to you clean up the he's streets. You involved in Nick's death? Tell me. So typical. Just let me go, please. I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Help! Anyone! Help me! Shut up! Hey, asswipe! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up! Come on! You fucking coward! Someone give me my rifle! Yeah, we had to go. <laughs> we had to skedaddle. Yeah, I'm gonna pause right here because a lot just happened. Like, we need to discuss that. Like, I had a... You know what? That Declan guy, he seemed, like, so quiet. Like, he's just trying to be good, you know, trying to help his little town, blah, blah, blah. And then turns out he's the freaking boss. He's the dealer. The one that's, you know, bringing drugs to the to the town. Like, shocker, no. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Yeah, that, I think I'm going to end the point right here. Nothing major happened. I mean, I don't know why I thought it would be this he, huge surprise who it was, like who was behind the drugs and stuff, but it didn't really shock me. It's just so typical that it had to be the police officer that was behind it. But yeah, um, yeah, just keep watching, keep, um, keep up with the previous ones as well if you haven't seen the previous videos so you can know what's happened before this. And yeah, I'm going to try my best to keep up with the videos every single day until Christmas Day. But yeah, I'm working on my Sims as well. Just cleaning up the CCs and removing things that have been broken because of the new update. I think there was an update yesterday as well, if I'm not mistaken. So it's almost like every single time I'm almost done um, updating all my CC and script files and stuff. There's always another update. So it's never non-stop like it's always going on i don't know but yeah um thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified for more videos and let's get us to 200 subscribers like we're almost there i mean still got a, a bit to go but you know we can get there <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching bye guys stay safe and peace out you're a mean one mr green